Hello and welcome back to White Run. Place in Skyrim. If you are truly the Lord of the Ginger and the Mad, High Lord of Flosses, nope. Harbinger of the Spiffing, Lone 21 Boxes, Madman, Master of All Sanity, and All Around Neutral Guy, there's a puppy. If you need portions, I Arcadius called them. I have a better idea. There was a courier who visited me. He brought me a letter. I'm not sure where it is. It's probably not this one. Yeah. This is a different one. Letter from a friend. Aril, you caused a bit of stir in truth of the world when it demonstrated the power of your tomb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. Yeah, Aldo indeed seemed quite distressed at the end there. I for one decided to see your gr you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim means a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Wallenrood. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. To rule the realm of wow. What's it framing though on the... Oh yeah. Oh, also, this is... These are quite close in their value now. So once I fight the dragon, I'm going to switch to this because then it's actually more effective than this is. But uh, I'm not going to waste the charge on mortals. The graveyards have summoned the dragon to hide. Well, standard creatures. Wow. W what's what's up, game? Hey, game. What you doing? What you doing, game? I think it might have been Windows Update that was up with the game. Because that's terrible. I might just be servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duty. Yeah. Yo, Yarl. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yes. You know I wouldn't ask you if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The World Eater himself? But... How can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Oh, freaking General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngear about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Okay. Let me come now, back to you later. if you don't later. mind, I've got a city to keep. I don't mind. You keep your city. In the meantime... Oh wait. Can Dragon Bane be disenchanted? Disenchant Dragonbane. 
Nope, I can disenchant Nushed Pickaxe there. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Do I like to do that? No. Great warriors? Not just pickaxe is mine. For diggy diggy holes. Come on, let's go. Out of here. <laughs> so even though we just got back from there, it's time For you, to go. For I love you. Yes. Let's love the Red Legions, sure. Um, that's not supposed to be a hole there. Um, talk to Anger. Why do you have so many markers there? Oh, well, very well. Come on, let's go. We have a peace council to organize. Where is Arngear? Is he outside? So he is. Is he? Mm, yes, yes. Um. Is he in the tower? I didn't know you could go inside this tower. It certainly looks like he is inside this tower. Is this true? Or is he at the throat of the world? Why would he be there? Yeah, he's inside the tower. Okay. I've never been inside this building before. That's because you cannot be inside this building, it's just... Instant transportation to the top of it. Arnge? Aldwin? We heard the dragon run shout from here. You defeated him? Mm, not as much defeated as forced him to flee, but... Basically, yeah. Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his port of the Sovereign Guard. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. East, you say? I shall scour the east and ignore the less rest of the plot. I mean, I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need you to help s to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. The Yar Bargroof won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Yar's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Where has Alduin Khan? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovereign Guard to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Are you ready to host the peace council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Very well. Let us do that. Breath and focus. Uh, whom should I invite first? Uh, it's probably easier to talk to Dullius. Of course it's raining. What did they expect? Did they expect clear skies? Did I expect the game not to freeze? Well, I set my expectations too damn high. Oh well. No! And then imagine my arrogance if I expected the game not 
to crash when I shout at clear skies. Luckily, the skies are clear this time. And uh, make me spend 15 minutes to get back here. A coin or two for a yes. Oh well. True, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. All right, let's go speak to Thales. Whatever you need, Dragonborn, just say the word. I need Thales to attend the peace meeting, the peace council. If you must venture south, stay clear of Volskai. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Thalys, I have a word of you. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yes, sir. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Yes. I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere. I am not here to fight for the Empire. Fuck you. Mm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Le... I suspect... Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. That's not what I was here Speak for. Speak with Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. I have a message from the Greybeards. That's what I wanted. Why the hell would the game force me to pick the... Imperials? When I just want to deliver a message? The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They are con convening a peace council at High Rothka. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no I'm dragons. I'm I'm finally traveling with someone who seems competent. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Oh, uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the Beast Council then? Yes, yes fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Excellent. Sure. Now to Ulfric. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. What happened to your eye? Anyway, to Windhelm. This will not be as easy a task because I haven't actually been to the city, have I? No, I haven't. So we need to go to the stables. Because the stables are not part of the city. Alright then. Across the bridge and into the fortress, palace, castle, thing, building. It's most likely a building. Oh, by the gods, why does this keep happening? I have a lot of respect for the restoration school. Right. 
You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. I lived in the Grey Imperial Quarter of spies? Windhelm for You years. can't be serious. So maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, a dumb spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. The worst thing is that these guys are essential. Oh. I've tried to murder them once or twice. Or at least one of them was essential. Don't remember which one. I haven't tried the other one. I have only tried killing one. It was essential, so I can't give up. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Where? You hear the news? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor. To the northwest. Oh, thanks for it. For the info. Yeah. Balgriff won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Balgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword to his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Keep your eyes open. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. And let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. Mm -hmm. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. Mm -hmm. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. His hands are in How the many table. of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? Here's an elf. I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign s- I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last I breath. I lived in the Grey Quarter of Windhelm for years. Windhelm. It's a wretched Holy place Empire full of bitter dumber. Let's be done here quickly. Impoverished debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight. Because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. I remember you. You are Helgen with us. But in the Come meantime, to join the war. We have a Speak war with Garmar. Plan. He handles the new recruits. No, I have something Speak else to do. Speak with here. Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate the truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this 
unless Tullius himself will be there. Well, General Dullius has already agreed to attend. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you will come to the Beast Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Very well. That solves that. I'll see you back in Skyrim. I mean, back at High Rothka. Rothka. Uh, back with those people over there. Greybeards. I'll go to the council and I'll meet you there. See you next time.